Hey, it's Randy from UC Status. Uh, welcome to another episode of Ditch the Box. Today I'm going to do a really quick video because it's a very simple device, really, uh, on the Logitech Tap IP. So a little bit of background before I show you the device itself. So Microsoft Teams Rooms on Android uh, originally was just a collab bar, small form factor bar from a couple of different vendors. And the original intention, I believe, was just to have, you know, a small form factor device that was good enough for huddle spaces and things. And really what you were, you were meant to do is use the remote control to then interact with that thing or connect a touch screen or a mouse and keyboard to get out the on-screen controls and buttons to be able to call someone, start a meeting, join a meeting, etc. So over time, Microsoft started improving Teams Rooms on Android. Of course, they've renamed it from Collab Bar back to that Teams Rooms on Android. The experience between Windows and Android is getting closer, as I've mentioned in other videos. But the next stab after using a remote control for Microsoft was to have a companion device uh, as a touch controller, similar to what they offered on the Teams Rooms on Windows um, uh, devices, but rather than using a connected peripheral, as you do on Windows, like a USB device, the original vendors came out with something that was um, paired over the network. So touch controllers from, from other vendors, basically you'd go in, you'd sign in to Teams on both devices, on the bar, for instance, and the touch controller, and then um, what will happen is once they're both signed into the same account, the touch console will do a discovery on the same network to try and find any other devices that are signed in with its own with its same credentials. And then from there, you just touch a little button to start the pairing process. You'll see a pairing code on the front of room display to actually pair that device. And then what happens is Teams Rooms on Android, all the controls are on the screen, the front of room screen. Once you connect to a touch console, those on-screen controls move if uh, sort of move away from the front room console, kind of disappear from there. And then if by magic, they go to the touch screen on the table. So Logitech uh, originally didn't have a, an IP connected touch controller for Teams Rooms on Android. What it did was actually uh, push Microsoft to allow it to use its connected peripheral. In this case, the Cat5 edition of the uh, uh, Logitech Tap Touch Console, uh, something that they've been making for a while on the Windows side. Um, Microsoft allowed them to use that as a connected touchscreen display to get that touchscreen experience over to the to the console itself. As time went on, Logitech decided to play the game and come out with an IP connected device uh, to give uh, customers different flexibility. So the one on one hand, connecting a uh, a console directly to the to the bar or to the roommate, for instance, um, is just a single cable experience. It's directly connected and will allow you eventually to do things like content ingest through the touch console on the table over that single um, kind of USB or USB over Cat5 connection back to the bar uh, at the front of the room. Whereas if you've got an IP connected uh, touch screen, uh, that becomes a little harder. You can't actually plug in HDMI into an IP connected console and over the network somehow uh, share onto the to the bar. You'll end up having to use content ingest on the bar or the roommate, for instance, to, to do it that way. But nonetheless, it's still a great device for people that have challenge with cabling. They can't run a cable down the wall under the floor and up through the table, but maybe they have PoE under the table. Maybe they have an available network port that kind of thing. So that's where these kind of devices come in. The other way these come come in is if you wanted to put it in a different part of the room. So right at the back, for instance, and you can't do a cable run over there. Again, you have PoE. You can either put it on a table or a credenza, or you could put it onto a podium or a lectern, uh, or even mount it on a wall uh, with the appropriate accessories and things. So that's it. So that's the kind of background story, really. I might kind of 
edit that down a little bit. But there we go. So what we have now is called the Logitech Tap IP. It's very similar in size and stature to the uh, uh, Cat5 Tap, the original Tap. There's a, a slight tweak in the dimensions um, either way. It's still got that kind of lay flat 14 degree angle. It can still be wall mounted. Um, just characteristics wise, 10 inch touchscreen. Uh, around the back, it's got some visa mounting holes for for, for mounting it uh, on on any kind of visa thing. Um, you can also use a an accessory that you can buy to wall mount it, and obviously it's wall mounted inverted. It's got a uh, motion sensor there for, you know, if you've got it on the table, it will, you know, eventually wake up the room, for instance, or wake, a little, at least wake up the panel when team supports wake on uh, sensors and things like that with an IP connected uh, panel, then that will come into play there as well. But effectively, this is a, you know, this runs the same Collab OS operating system or Android operating system run by Logitech. And uh, just like the Rally Bar and Roommate, for instance, it still has all of the uh, service providers installed out of the factory, including Teams, Zoom, uh, Pexip, Ring Central, and Tencent if you're in China. Uh, and then all you do is use the out of box experience as I showed you in a previous video, choose your service provider, connect to the network, all that kind of thing, and then it'll reboot into that mode. In Teams mode, it will come up with those cloud credentials. You put in that code and away you go. So on the back of the device, you've got this little uh, tray here with a single thumb screw in the middle. You can take that off. All right, so once you take this cover off, there's a couple of things inside the, the, the box, so inside the casing. Um, so uh, Logitech is famous for uh, wanting to manage cable runs and things like that. So what it has is a channel out of the bottom. So if you're going to have this sitting on a table uh, without going into a mounting uh, bracket or, or whatever chasing cables through the table uh, you want to have the cable kind of tucked in and coming out the back so Logitech has a little channel there to run the cable and hold it securely a little purple rubber thing to kind of hold it in place and then there's this little clip that kind of clips in to hold the cable so it can't be seen then you put this back on and everything is nice and tidy you can, of course, wall mount this and run the cable out the back and through the wall. If you wanted to, you'd mount it inverted, uh, and then you'd have to buy that accessory to mount it on the wall anyway. But really, it's a simple device. There's a single network port inside. It runs on PoE. You can also run it uh, to a PoE injector and then Cat5 uh, to the other side. Uh, it has built-in Wi-Fi, so you can actually connect it to the network on Wi-Fi if you don't have a PoE port available. Um, and really, Wi-Fi, I think, should be okay as long as it's on the same network uh, and it can see the bar or the roommate itself to do that IP pairing. Just needs to be routable and, and, and be on that same network. Uh, really, you don't want anything in the way. Wired is, of course, better if you can do that, but if you needed to do that kind of... But if you needed to do a power injector or something like that, you can absolutely do that if you needed to then connect to your Wi-Fi. So one last thing to say is that Logitech has something called Collab OS Relay. And really what that is, is basically using Bluetooth to pair a peripheral such as this with the bar itself. Just like you did with the remote control, um, it uses Bluetooth to try and pair itself with that. And then you use that as the uh, effectively remote control to go through all the settings. With Collab OS Relay, you can actually set it up so that the touch console becomes the controller even for the device settings on the bar or the roommate itself so that's really only applicable for the setup process but also then zoom mode but with an upcoming release you'll be able to do that uh, whole setup using the Collab OS relay on the touch console uh, with the bar and then go through the whole setup of both devices with the out of the box and I'll show you that in an upcoming video and that's it. There's not a lot more to say about this. It's an IP-connected touch console that works with Teams and Zoom and the other providers that run on Collab OS in the, in the Logitech ecosystem. Uh, it can be table-mounted, wall-mounted. It can use the accessories like the riser mount, the swivel mount, and things to run cables through the table if you wanted to. Runs on PoE or to a PoE injector and Wi-Fi to get it on the network. Uh, and then you pair it uh, actually with the room console um, uh, that way. 
As always, thanks for watching. Again, this has been the Tap IP from Logitech, and I'll catch you in the next video.